in centre court where everyone else has to keep off the grass. But this man here, he swaggered down centre court on the grass because he is the heads groundsman. Neil Stubbley, how are you doing, Neil? Very well, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you just did just swagger down there. I mean, could I just touch the grass right uh, now? Unfortunately not. I'm, I, I'm the only one and my team are the only ones that can go on the court unless you're a player for the day. So you are obviously a head groundsman. Just tell us a little bit about your role, please. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much in charge of the, the ground staff team that, um, that produce these immaculate services. Um, I have to give all the credit to them because they're the guys that actually do it and I just kind of steer the ship, so but I'll take the credit where, where it comes. Obviously you didn't always hold this role though, were you once upon a time part of that team as well, kind of looking after the grounds? Absolutely, so this is my 22nd tournament, so I started here straight from college uh, and then I've kind of done my apprenticeship all the way through and then fortunate enough I, I got the top job. And uh, you must have a highlight from those, those many years working on the courts and around the grounds here at Wimbledon. Can you pick a few for us? Well, I think this is my third, third uh, middle Sunday, so it's kind of becoming a little bit normal for us. Obviously, the, uh, the, the third Monday that we've done. So all of those sort of days where you've got like the true tennis fan coming in, it's, it's a really good experience. And for you and your team, what challenges does a middle Sunday bring, if any? Well, to, to be fair, we're always in on a middle Sunday anyway because practice is, is still going on. So most of our crew will be in until nine o'clock on a, on a middle Sunday anyway. Um, invariably, the middle Sunday, if it's a normal championships, it gives us a good opportunity to get extra water onto the grass to, to hydrate it. You know, it's a living surface and we have to appreciate that if we don't water it and maintain it, it will die. So, um, but because the, the temperatures this week have been quite mild, we haven't had the amount of play that we, that we should normally have for the championships. It, it doesn't mean that we're going to really overly stress the courts out today. Has the rain though this week, has that brought about any challenges? Well, I think it's just uh, frustrations more than anything. The, the, uh, all the guys are on standby, they're always courtside ready to pull the covers. So, you know, by the time we get to this stage, everyone's a little bit tired than normal. But looking at the forecast for next week, it's not, not looking too bad. So hopefully next week we can uh, get a little bit of uh, recuperation. It's not just the courts, is it? We always talk about how beautiful Wimbledon looks out and about as well. Is your team responsible for that as well? Yes, so I'm kind of in charge of the grounds department as a whole. So within that grounds department, we have the ground staff and the gardeners. So, yeah, so we, we put it all together. So under my remit becomes all the hanging baskets uh, and all the bedding plants, which obviously is, um, is delivered and overseen by our head gardener and his team. At the end of the tournament, which lucky ladies get to take away the hanging baskets? <laughs> I think they stay here for the rest of the season, yeah, yeah. So our, all our members and, and everything else for the rest of the season get to appreciate that. We have a plant sale uh, after the championships on some of the plants and planting schemes. That money all goes to our foundation and then that goes towards charity. So, yeah, it's, it's, we, we kind of uh, recycle everything and then every year we, we'll keep doing the same thing. And when Wimbledon finishes, does your role finish for the year and you're back again next year? Absolutely not. We then start concentrating on the following year. So we'll look at the courts, we'll start renovating them. It's a, it's a three month process to go through. We shave off all the grass of the courts and we, and we re level them, we reseed them and bring them back so we have brand new courts every year. So, in fact, this is kind of the end of our season and our, our, our real work starts in two weeks' time. And for any budding gardeners out there, what's the secret to the beautiful grass here on Centre Court? Having 35 full time ground staff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not many people are going to have that, are they? And also another question I wanted to know, compared to last year, which was beautifully hot, like amazing weather, and this year, which is really rainy, kind of, are there different challenges proposed there? Absolutely, and that's, that's the challenge every year, is that no two championships are the same. So last year, really hot weather, courts are stressing out, we were giving them more water, but then we have that middle Sunday where we can rest them and, and give them extra water. This year, it's completely different. You know, it's, it's a lot, you know, the temperatures are a lot cooler, a lot of rain floating around, it's very unstable weather this week and we're here on the middle Sunday but the importance of it, of it being a full-time job year-round is making sure that the courts are at a stage for day one of the championships that they can they can either have really hot temperatures or really cold temperatures we either do a 13 day or a 14 day or dare I say it, a 15 day championships. And everyone knows when they come to Wimbledon they're going to expect beautiful kind of settings and scenery do you ever get people coming up to you they know you and kind of congratulate you on your work? Um, yeah, we get quite a few people that, that sort of say to us how, how nice the grounds are and stuff. But a lot of the time, if nothing's said, because the expectation at Wimbledon is, is that everything should look immaculate and perfect, that's just the assumption. So if people don't say anything, we take that as a good thing. If, if people don't like it, they'll soon come and tell me. And in terms of players, have they ever come up to you and you know congratulate you on your work? Uh, not really. It's, again, you know, like the spectators, the players, they, they turn up at Wimbledon and, and the expectation is, is that they have the perfect tennis court. Um, and because they expect it, they just think it's the norm. 
but believe me, if, if they're not happy, they will, I'm sure they will come and find me. Well, Neil, thank you very much. It looks beautiful again today, and it's sunny, so we're hoping for lots of play on the, the only fourth middle Sunday to be played at Wimbledon.